Hey everybody, Doug here again with another Doug's Lab video. Today I'll be demonstrating a quick and dirty carbon arc furnace. Alright, what I have here is basically the uh, ballast that you saw from the sign or from the uh, light fixture that I had in my previous video. And then I have now attached these to a couple of carbon rods from uh, like lantern batteries. In fact, there's one of the batteries right there. Um, and also I will make a video pretty soon detailing about how to take one of these apart and get the carbons out without breaking them too badly. Uh, in fact, I've been experimenting here with a couple I found. Anyway, um, yeah, basically what it is is two carbon rods uh, in a refractory block, which I've simply cut a slot in using some rudimentary tools. Um, and I use this as a lid to put over there, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll start the arc before I put the lid on. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'll turn on the power and I'll strike an arc between those two and watch it get hot. <laughs> There's a spider crawling on it. <laughs> Where'd it go? It's down there somewhere. Well, whatever. <laughs> Power's on. Start the arc. There we go. And put the lid on. Now it can't go for very long because um, <clears throat> basically uh, the electrolyte is still soaked into these carbon rods and it's zinc chloride. And you'll actually be able to see that you'll see it start to weep in a second as the zinc chloride starts to melt out of the rods. But anyway, yeah, and it gets really smoky in here, so I've ran this a couple times, so it should be less smoky. Oh, there's our friend the spider. <laughs> what the heck's going on in there? As you can see, it's just getting crazy hot in there. Minimal smoke, too. And hopefully uh, I'll get around to melting something that melts at a really high melting point soon. Uh, oh, it's out, but I'll open up the chamber. As you can see, well, it's glowing a little bit. Jeez. That's crazy hot. <laughs> yeah, eventually the tape starts melting around here, and the insulation starts melting off the wires. So, um, yeah, I'm going to switch over to these carbon rods, which as you can see, are much longer. Now this isn't due to erosion, they were just really crappy batteries. Oh yeah. Let this run for a little second, and then we'll uh, open her up and see how hot it is in there. Gotta be getting hot. Oh, you can see the zinc chloride starting to leach out. See? It is awfully hot in there. The cool thing about these uh, ballasts is that they can run at a complete short or a complete open circuit. So I can do whatever I want to this circuit and not bother it. If this proves to be too little power, um, I'll end up using one of my big transformers up here. I'll use the primary in series with these just to act as a reactive load so I don't blow my circuit breaker and I can probably put more power through it. But I don't know how hot the carbon rods are going to get, so that's, that's subject to debate. Alright, so I'll break the arc and well, I'll just flip it open. Whew, it's actually not that hot in there, surprisingly. <laughs> that little chamber. Right in there, I was expecting it to be hotter. But yeah, you can see the zinc chloride definitely just like smoking off of these things, and it's getting kind of smoky in here. But anyway, so with long carbon rods and a few more burns, should be able to have a decent arc furnace going. Alright, subscribe, rate, and comment. 